Buying, selling, or renting real estate in a wet Sundays? You need the team that will provide you with help, experience, and results. Ray White Wet Sunday sales team has over 100 years' experience in local real estate, which is why Ray White Wet Sunday sells more real estate than anyone else. Whether it's residential sales, commercial sales, commercial leasing, marine or rural sales, Ray White Wet Sunday have the solution. So contact Ray White Wet Sunday today and get the results you deserve. It's half past eight, time for our weekly real estate market report. Thanks to Ray White with Sunday. And this morning, we're talking to Jeremiah Roberts, a sales consultant with Ray White. Good morning, Jeremiah. Good morning, Tom. How are you? Uh, a bit damp, but other than that, fine. Yes, it's a bit like that today. This morning, I thought we'd talk about points of difference. In advertising, we talk about points of difference all the time. How in real estate do you create that point of difference in competition? I had the question actually asked to me last week, Tom, by a vendor, and, and most most people that I look at selling their property for will always ask the question, can we sell our property off market? Do you have people ready to buy um, that can come through earlier? That is something that we can do some of the time. Um, but in terms of what, what I would generally recommend, the, to create the best competition and the most eyes on a property, Tom, you, you really need to get online and marketed properly. So that can be done a few different ways on realestate.com domain. We have our own websites and there's a plethora of other ones. We've got about 10 websites that we go on to. So I think that's the biggest key to getting our competition rather than these off-market transactions that um, they can, they do have a time and place. But I would say for a large majority of uh, people that I work with, getting online is going to create that that level that we really want to get to so we can get the most offers so we can see so other buyers see other buyers who are interested in the property that's the important thing at the end of the day i guess it also creates a bit of urgency in the buyer's mind if they see other people at the property as well exactly right tom a example of that is something that i a property that i sold in early beach a few months ago um, it's been very common recently that properties go online without a price, which a few buyers um, you know, are getting a bit frustrated with. There's not a lot of clarity, but this particular property, we listed at $399,000. Um, the property had great, great traction. We had quite a number of groups through over the first open home um, and the first weekend. We're online nine days, had our first lot of inspections and had about seven groups through. Um, at that time, the competition actually allowed us to have four offers over that first weekend. And we actually achieved a sale price of about five thousand dollars over that three ninety nine. So we actually cracked four hundred thousand, um, and that was um, for that complex at the time was about forty thousand dollars more than the last sale in there. So that sort of to me paints a picture of why we have to get online, why we need to get as many people through to get make sure we're seeing where the market is and, and pushing for that best price for our sellers. I suppose it also relates to uh, the modern world. You know, there's buyers from uh, the southern states who are interested in properties up here, don't know if they're up available for sale unless they see them online. That's right, Tom. And, and, and that goes to show the other part of it is we, we make sure that we have all our properties on the realestate.com and domain. Um, realestate.com is massive in Queensland. It is the biggest one by quite a, quite a fair margin. But in um, especially southern New South Wales and Victoria, domain is quite a prominent um prominent website so getting on both of them is going to make sure that you do cover as many of those buyers as as, that you can and buyers the other thing that people don't don't often think about is when you're looking for a property you can actually make searches so when something that comes online meets those those searches you get alerted Mm. so just by going online people are going to get emails about your property people are going to see it pop up within six hours of it being live so that's another thing we're getting those people who they might have looked three weeks ago they're still in the look the looking mode but you know they actually get notified oh look something actually is on the market that we're after so that's another important factor of those online websites so we don't miss anybody at all all right jeremiah thanks very much for that Uh, good advice again hot properties what have you got in your books at the moment our office has had a couple of um new listings go online in the last 24 hours um, we have three or four border drive, which is a three bed, one bath townhouse um, in Cannonvale. So that one's looking for buyers above 400. So that's going to be great for people looking at getting into the market, investors um, looking for something with a great return. And we've also just listed um, eight Woomera Avenue, uh, Woomera Street, sorry, in Cannonvale. Um, that one's open to offers, great property, pool, 
large three bedroom, three bathroom on a 600 square meter block. So they're two new properties that have just gone live um, recently. All right, Jeremiah, thanks for your time this morning. Enjoy your Thursday. Thanks very much, Tom. You too. Island FM.